La Palma volcano threatens to rumble again after a two-month nap, not done yet. The La Palma volcano could come back to life after a two-month break, as residents in the UK holiday hotspot hope to remain calm. Although no eruptive activity occurred for the full two months, the cone still exhibited mild degassing. No more active lava flows, the closer the prospect of official confirmation for declaring the eruption is finally over. But while exports will need to wait a little longer for that to happen, there are still doubts about the importance of the continued seismic activity that returns after the volcano erupts. They are currently low on energy and overall on a downward trend, experts say they are still significant. They add that it may indicate that magma at depth was still able to compress and break rock deep within, creating intrusions that eventually allowed it to rise further. But this is the only option. It is also possible that the system adjustments were triggered by the massive mass shifts that occurred during the eruption. This means that the earthquake will slowly die out. Last week, there were three earthquakes measuring 3.3 to 3.5 at a depth of 35 to 36 kilometers, as well as many more minor earthquakes, 22 earthquakes measuring 2.0 to 2.9 and 48 earthquakes under magnitude 2.0. Looking at the recent trend of earthquakes, there may be an increase. However, the increase was more in the number of earthquakes, especially in deeper areas of around 30 to 40 kilometers. This is primarily an artifact created by the lack of volcanic vibrations, which acts as noise during an eruption and only hides smaller quakes in the signal. But now, highly sensitive seismic devices can pick up small quakes below magnitude 2, as well as deeper quakes, whose signal at the surface is much weaker. This means that most of the apparent increase in earthquakes is simply an increase in detection sensitivity. However a weak increase in the total energy of seismic activity is still visible. Although this possibility is part of normal fluctuations, it is difficult to know for sure. Last week, after a period of low seismic activity, the Canary Islands in Volcan Institute of Volcanology wrote on Twitter, that doesn't mean the eruption is over, because in the past this was followed by a new surge of activity. This is the longest time without an earthquake since the eruption began. Rubian Lopez, a volcanologist, said of the minimal activity at the volcano, hopefully it will stay that way and we can start thinking about the end of this. Although the earthquake occurred again, experts still hope the eruption will subside. The Cumbre Vieja region is expected to start rebuilding after being destroyed by the volcano.